Hello, evening. I'm Tom there. And here's a little early Christmas present for you. I've got a new best mate, Joe McEldry, on. Christmas, a special time for you, Joe? Yeah, it's always, it's always um, especially now with my job, it's the one part of the year where I get to completely relax for, like, quite a few... I, get, I normally get about a month off. Wow. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to just chilling out. I'm actually going skiing with all my family, which is which I'm really looking forward to. Oh, uh, well, you yeah. can't beat snow over the festive season. Uh, uh, exactly, exactly. I'm going to see in a chalet, so I'm going to have a proper Christmas. Oh, well, it'll be just like that video to Wham's Last Christmas. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> have you got one of those dodgy jumpers? Of course, of course. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be done. Uh, uh, tell me, Joe, I know you're on, on the road a lot. Are you carrying a chocolate advent calendar around with you? You know what it is? I haven't got one this oh, year. Oh no! Jim. Yeah, and I said, I said to me, um, I sent me friends the other day. I went, oh, I haven't got an advent calendar. She was like, eh, hey, Joe, you're not five anymore. <laughs> you don't and I was have like, to be five. You don't have to be five. I was like, <laughs> you're such a Scrooge. But um, I don't carry them around actually. But um, I might just get one on Christmas Eve and just eat them all in one That's go. That's a be good more idea. Fun <laughs> yeah, it'll be in the bargain bucket by then. It'll be about 50p on it exactly. for 24 chocolates. Get a bargain. Ooh, all done. Well, listen, Joe, thank you so much for coming along to the Free Radio People Awards last week in Telford. It's a pleasure. Do you know, it, it, was, it was lovely to be there and, and obviously surprise everyone and perform. And I always think those kind of events are really important because they really, they really make a difference to a community, I think, when, when things like that are recognised. And knowing that you've got that kind of community support and spirit... Um, I know that in, in my local town we have one of a similar kind of event every year and it makes such a difference, you know, it brings the town together and it just lets everybody know about, like, great achievements, bravery and all of those kind of brilliant things that should be recognised. Uh, tell us a bit about you and, and music, because obviously, you know, we know that you did uh, pop star to opera star, a bit of classic stuff. This is you going back into pop music and writing some stuff yourself, isn't it? Yeah, well, the, the Here's What I Believe album, it came out in, well, it's out now, and this is the second second single off that album. Um, and it's, th- th- you know, this is the first time that I've done any songwriting on an album. Um, and I, I kind of, yeah, I've gone back to me kind of roots of what I did. Um, pretty much on X Factor, you know, but obviously with my own material, with the kind of the, the slow ballads to the mid-tempo music. Did you get to, to, to run, any, run any, any of this stuff past, uh, you know, some of the previous mates? I don't know, did Cheryl Cole get a, a look in or anything like that? Um, well, do, do you know what it is? We don't really kind of... On a work basis, we don't really kind of speak in that way. We're just more like friends, you know, and, and we'll send each other the text and catch up with each other. It's difficult to catch up. So she, I don't even know if she's heard the album yet. I might have to send her one for Christmas. I was going to say, <laughs> there you go, Christmas present. Yeah. Stock and filler. Chuck in a, uh, a bargain bucket advent calendar as well. Why not, <laughs> yeah, love it. Amazing. Well, listen, uh, we'll play the song again, uh, if that's all right with you. Yeah. And uh, this time, Joe, it might be quite nice if you uh, introduce it for us. Is that all right? Yes. This is I'm Joe McEldry, and this is my single Rescuers. I hope you enjoy it. Settle down beside me now I think we'll be waiting for a while Before they come Look around, don't matter now All of the walls have come down It's just begun Time we wasted. Come 
Performed live at the Free Radio People Awards with the Kitchen Depot in Telford last week. That is the new single from Joe McAldry. It's Rescue Us on Free Radio. And Joe's on the phone tonight. Joe, X Factor this weekend. I know, it's a big one, isn't it? Yeah, was it 2009 that you were there with Ollie yes. Murs in the final? Yes, Ollie and Stacey, I was there. Um, it seems like ages ago, but it actually wasn't that long. But it, I, I feel like I've crammed so much in this, in this two and a half to three years that it feels like ages ago. But, um... They're going to be so nervous right now, honestly. It's unbelievable the amount of nerves you have at this point. Does it all come flooding back to you when it's X-Factor final time? Yeah, right? I mean, I, I watched the semi-final on um, Saturday and Sunday, um, and I, I get that knot in my stomach as soon as the theme tune starts. Like, it, and as soon as the results and the lights go down and that music, <laughs> the heartbeat music, is the bane of my life. Every time I hear it, it makes us feel physically sick. Oh it, it just brings back all sorts of emotional memories, but... Amazing memories. Every time I watch it, I'm kind of like, God, I wish I could go back and do it again. And, of course, uh, with the final, of course, you get to, to duet uh, with somebody as well. Yeah. Uh, and, and this year, I believe it's the mentors. So you've got Jermaine and uh, James Arthur with Nicole. Nicole. And then, uh, obviously, Christopher Maloney on with Gary Barlow as well. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, that, that would have been nice, actually. I would have probably enjoyed doing that with the mentors because... Um, you know, I mean, obviously, I got George Michael. I was pretty, pretty pleased well, with that. Exactly, that's <laughs> pretty good. You can't complain with that. But um, <laughs> yeah, I think it'll be nice for them. You know, after they've worked with them all through the series, it'll be nice to that they get to sing a song together. And uh, having watched the, the semi-final last week, can you call it? Well, I would. I would like James to win. If I'm, if I'm completely honest, but I'd, I'd, I have a feeling he's not going to win it because I, I feel like Jermaine or Christopher Maloney will kind of cross the board with everything. Yeah. With all the votes, and I feel like he might just only get like a a certain mark at that vote. On, but but having said that, I think he'll have an incredible career. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, I definitely. think I think he doesn't even need to worry because uh, he's such a talent. And you know, I'm sure all three of them will have a a, a good career um, in very different ways. Uh, well, listen, you enjoy your Christmas break and skiing as well. And I, Thank you. I expect to see your tribute to uh, Last Christmas <laughs> uh, on YouTube sometime soon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to you guys, and Merry Christmas to everyone. <laughs> 